in this video, we will see how we can save the inspect element changes permanent. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change that Google logo and I'm going to add my own name here and I'm going to save that permanent. It means whenever I close my Chrome and set down my laptop and whenever I open my laptop and open the Chrome and type google.com, that will display my brand name, not Google. Okay, how we can do this? So first of all, open the new tab and just type here permanent inspect element changes. Okay, so just open this. This is the Chrome extension. Okay, now we need to click on the add to Chrome and just click on add extension. Just go to that extension icon and just pin that extension like this. Okay. Now open the Google and just refresh that page. Now just right click on that. Okay. Right click and just click on inspect. Now we have that code. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, just right click on that and add it as HTML. And as you can see, here's the image tag, right? Just change that tag to the P tag. Okay. Paragraph tag and remove the all tag and the all the SRC image URLs from here. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to just close the P tag like this. Okay, P. And just here, I'm going to just put my name, my brand name, the coding bus. Okay, and make sure here you can see before closing that tag, I'm going to just put here the style equal double quotation font slash size column 40 px like this. And just click anywhere here. Done. You can see the decoding bus now just close that tab and just click on that changes okay here and just click on save page and you can see edit made change done. now whenever i open the new tab and just open the google.com now as you can see the coding bus let me just close that chrome window okay now let me just i'm gonna open the chrome again okay here and whenever i just type here google.com as you can see the coding bus is here so that will not go in so this is the permanent change so we have saved our inspect element changes permanent you can do any changes on internet now i want to reset it so how we can reset it so click on that extension and click on reset and just okay so once you do this and just refresh it and it's come again this is all about it so if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day be safe bye bye